let me take you through the portal digital sky from dgca that's directorate general of civil aviation government of india which gives you all the information at one place and also tells you about the rules the regulations the requirements for a rewarding drone experience whether you want to manufacture drones or you want to train people in drones or you want to fly a drone yourself for recreational purposes so there is a lot of technical information as you can see here most importantly the portal also gives you interactive airspace maps which tells you about the zones in which you can fly the drones and then it also tells you uh, about the kind of user you are what is it that you want to do in the drone sector so if you want to use a drone, then you need to sign up from here or you are a manufacturer or an importer or you want to become an RPTO, that is remote pilot training organization, or you want to become a certified remote pilot. So depending on what you wish to do, you have various ways to register on this portal. Now, most importantly, we also get to see the classification of drones here under various categories. As you can see here, uh, this is uh, first is the nano category, which is up to 250 grams, then micro, which is 250 grams to 2 kgs, then small, 2 kgs to 25 kgs, then medium, which is 25 to 150, and large, that's above 150. Then, of course, you have technical information about the type of certificate and the UIN, which is the number which is given uh, to the certificate, and other technical information which is required in the drone sector. Now, interestingly, uh, at the bottom, you can see the regulations, uh, the rules of drone that's called the drone rules of 2021 the drone rules which were amended in 2022 then the policy framework pli scheme for drones uh, certification of drones and other information plus you also have references of the airspace map the rptos uh, enlisted drone models and other guidelines which are given here and interestingly you also have an faq page uh, when you go there, you get to see all the questions that are uh, frequently asked. Like you can see here, what is this portal about? Uh, and uh, basic things like uh, what is UAS, categorization, UIN, you know, so most of the information is available here in the form of FAQs. The next important thing which we need to look at is the drone training. Uh, DGCA has authorized remote pilot training organizations, which are drone training organizations. And as of today, there are 35 such drone training organizations, which are recognized by DGCA, and they are authorized to provide training and also award the certificate. So these are the organizations or the training organizations Academy of Carver Aviation Private Limited uh, in Maharashtra, Pune, Maharashtra, Acharya N.G. Ranga Agriculture University, Guntur, Andhra Pradesh, uh, Adisa Drona Private Limited, Kolhapur, Maharashtra, Agni Aerosports Adventure Academy, Bangalore, Amman Aviation and Aerospace, Goregaon, Mumbai, Blue Ray Aviation Private Limited, uh, CASR Anna University, uh, Drone Destination, Dronacharya Aerial Innovations, Flytech Aviation Academy, and the list goes on, up to 35 of them. There is also Indira Gandhi Rashtriya Udan Academy, uh, which is uh, there in a couple of places like Himachal Pradesh and Madhya Pradesh. And uh, then you have uh, Redbird Flight Training Academy, Telangana State Aviation Academy. So you can browse this list to get an idea about where these training organizations are located. 
And then there is also information here about the authorization of the training organization. And also the syllabus for drone training is also provided uh, by the DGCA on this portal. So you see the detailed syllabus is available here. For anybody who's interested to know more about what the certification program entails, you can go through this document. And then there is also training procedures and manual. Again, another document here. Uh, then you have the regulatory audit plan. Then also you can get to see the list of DGCA approved remote pilot instructors uh, who are either from the industry or individuals. So uh, these are the DGCA approved remote pilot instructors from the industry or individuals. This is the latest list as on 7th October 2022. So the list goes on. Uh, there are about, um, okay, I think 300 plus. Yes, uh, there are 319 uh, registered approved, DGCA approved drone pilot instructors. So they can give the training from various locations. So this is an important list for you in case you want to reach out, there must be a way to reach out. Uh, you can Google information about them. It must be available. Then there is a list of uh, DGCA approved uh, instructors. This is from DGCA. It's uh, the earlier list which you saw were individuals or from the industry, whereas this is from DGCA itself. And this list has uh, 29 of them, uh, as you can see the names. And then let's go back to the portal and check out what else is there. So there is a list of the remote pilots here, uh, and then the, the certification which was issued to them and various details are given here when they were certified. So this list also will keep getting updated uh, as more and more people get added. And today it shows the total count as uh, 1,650 uh, remote pilots. Now let's go back to the home page and look at it once again. Uh, there is this drone rules document. In case uh, you are interested to know more uh, about this document, this is from the government, as you can see. Uh, let me take you to the relevant pages here. One of the most important uh, pages here is this on the remote pilot license. I'm sure you would be interested to know who needs a drone remote pilot license and who does not. So it very clearly tells you about who are exempted from obtaining a license. Like for example, here it says, no remote pilot license shall be required for operating a nano unmanned aircraft system and operating a micro unmanned aircraft system for non-commercial purposes. So if you're doing it as a hobby or a recreational thing, then, and if you're operating a nano drone, then this license is not required. Whereas for various other purposes, it is essential that uh, one gets this license. Uh, and then uh, the criteria is given here, the classification and the validity, just like any other license, this also has a validity period. And uh, this document, in fact, gives you a lot of information about the rules and regulations and all the decisions taken by the government uh, under DGCA. Like, for example, uh, you can see the type of zones here. And then uh, it also keeps mentioning the Digital Sky platform, uh, which is an important source of information. So let's go back to the Digital Sky platform and uh, take a look at it once again. So this is how it looks. And uh, we feel that this should be the source for you if you wish to know anything about drones and the rules and regulations in India, uh, whether you are interested in getting trained or you want to become an RPTO or uh, for any other technical reasons as well, 
uh, like if you are a manufacturer, then uh, you know the current rules and regulations about manufacturing or the details of the PLI scheme and uh, all the other important aspects are given here. And uh, uh, the interesting part of this uh, website is also uh, the airspace map. Let's look at it once. It opens like this. And then uh, you can check by going to the area, like I live in uh, Gachibauli, Hyderabad. So I just type it here. And then here, from here, you can check uh, the area, whether uh, it allows you to fly, fly the drone if you are in green zone or uh, whichever zone is uh, relevant for that particular area. So this is like a one-stop solution as of now for all the information uh, which is authentic and coming from the government of India. And the website says mobile applications are coming soon. And we see that this portal gets updated as and when there are developments and updates on uh, various aspects of uh, drones in terms of manufacturing, training, and application in various industry sectors. So thank you so much uh, for watching this presentation. I hope this was useful. Uh, and we look forward to be in touch with you and update you more as and when new developments take place. Thanks a lot. Goodbye.